Bacillus anthracis, Wikipedia article audio. Bacillus anthracis is the etiologic agent of anthrax a common disease of livestock and, occasionally, of humans and the only obligate pathogen within the genus Bacillus. B. anthracis is a gram-positive, endospore-forming, rod-shaped bacterium, with a width of 1.01.2 m and a length of 3.5 m. It can be grown in an ordinary nutrient medium under aerobic or anaerobic conditions. It is one of few bacteria known to synthesize a protein capsule. Like Bordetella pertussis, it forms a colmodulin-dependent adenylate cyclase exotoxin known as anthrax edema factor, along with anthrax lethal factor. It bears close genotypical and phenotypical resemblance to Bacillus cereus and Bacillus thuringiensis. All three species share cellular dimensions and morphology. All form oval spores located centrally in an unswollen sporangium. B. anthracis endospores, in particular, are highly resilient, surviving extremes of temperature, low nutrient environments, and harsh chemical treatment over decades or centuries. Historical Background Genome Structure the endospore is a dehydrated cell with thick walls and additional layers that form inside the cell membrane. It can remain inactive for many years, but if it comes into a favorable environment, it begins to grow again. It initially develops inside the rod-shaped form. Features such as the location within the rod, the size and shape of the endospore, and whether or not it causes the wall of the rod to bulge out are characteristic of particular species of bacillus. Depending upon the species, the endospores are round, oval, or occasionally cylindrical. They are highly refractile and contain dipicolinic acid. Electron micrograph sections show they have a thin outer endospore coat, a thick spore cortex, and an inner spore membrane surrounding the endospore contents. The endospores resist heat, drying, and many disinfectants. Because of these attributes, B. anthracis endospores are extraordinarily well suited to use as biological weapons. Such weaponization has been accomplished in the past by at least five state bioweapons programs those of the United Kingdom, Japan, the United States, Russia, and Iraq and has been attempted by several others. French physician Casimir Davin demonstrated the symptoms of anthrax were invariably accompanied by the microbe B. anthracis. German physician Alois Polender is credited for discovery. B. anthracis was the first bacterium conclusively demonstrated to cause disease by Robert Cook in 1876. The species name anthracis is from the Greek anthrax, meaning coal and referring to the most common form of the disease, cutaneous anthrax, in which large, black skin lesions are formed. Throughout the 19th century, anthrax was an infection that involved several very important medical developments. The first vaccine containing live organisms was Louis Pasteur's veterinary anthrax vaccine. B. anthracis has a single chromosome which is a circular, 5,227,293 BP DNA molecule. It also has two circular, extrachromosomal, double-stranded DNA plasmids, PXO1 and PXO2. Both the PXO1 and PXO2 plasmids are required for full virulence and represent two distinct plasmid families. The PXO1 plasmid contains the genes that encode for the anthrax toxin components, PAG, LEF, and CYA. These factors are contained within a 44.8 kb pathogenicity island. The lethal toxin is a combination of PA with LF and the edema toxin is a combination of PA with F. 
The Pi also contains genes which encode a transcriptional activator ATXA and the repressor PAGR, both of which regulate the expression of the anthrax toxin genes. PXO2 encodes a 5-gene operon which synthesizes a polygamma glutamic acid capsule. This capsule allows B. anthracis to evade the host immune system by protecting itself from phagocytosis. Expression of the capsule operon is activated by the transcriptional regulators ACPA and ACPB, located in the PXO2 pathogenicity island. Interestingly, ACPA and ACPB expression are under the control of ATXA from PXO1. PXO1 Plasmid The 89 known strains of B. anthracis include Whole genome sequencing has made reconstruction of the B. anthracis phylogeny extremely accurate. A contributing factor to the reconstruction is B. anthracis being monomorphic, meaning it has low genetic diversity, including the absence of any measurable lateral DNA transfer since its derivation as a species. The lack of diversity is due to a short evolutionary history that has precluded mutational saturation in single nucleotide polymorphisms. PXO2 Plasmid a short evolutionary time does not necessarily mean a short chronological time. When DNA is replicated, mistakes occur which become genetic mutations. The buildup of these mutations over time leads to the evolution of a species. During the B. anthracis life cycle, it spends a significant amount of time in the soil spore reservoir stage in which DNA replication does not occur. These prolonged periods of dormancy have greatly reduced the evolutionary rate of the organism. B. anthracis belongs to the B. serious group consisting of the strains, B. serious, B. anthracis, B. thuringiensis, B. wyhenstephanensis, B. mycoides, and B. pseudomycoides. The first three strains are pathogenic or opportunistic to insects or mammals, while the last three are not considered pathogenic. The strains of this group are genetically and phenotypically heterogeneous overall, but some of the strains are more closely related and phylogenetically intermixed at the chromosome level. The B. serious group generally exhibits complex genomes and most carry varying numbers of plasmids. B. serious is a soil-dwelling bacterium which can colonize the gut of invertebrates as a symbiont and is a frequent cause of food poisoning it produces an emetic toxin, enterotoxins, and other virulence factors. The enterotoxins and virulence factors are encoded on the chromosome, while the emetic toxin is encoded on a 270 kb plasmid, PCER270. Strains. B. thuringiensis is an insect pathogen and is characterized by production of perispiral crystals of insecticidal toxins cry and sit. The genes encoding these proteins are commonly located on plasmids which can be lost from the organism, making it indistinguishable from B. serious. Evolution PLCR is a global transcriptional regulator which controls most of the secreted virulence factors in B. serious and B. thuringiensis. It is chromosomally encoded and is ubiquitous throughout the cell. In B. anthracis, however, the PLCR gene contains a single base change at position 640, a nonsense mutation, which creates a dysfunctional protein. While 1% of the B. serious group carries an inactivated PLCR gene, none of them carries the specific mutation found only in B. anthracis. Nearest Neighbors The PLCR gene is part of a two-gene operon with PAPR. The PAPR gene encodes a small protein which is secreted from the cell and the re-import as a processed heptapeptide forming a quorum-sensing system. 
The lack of PLCR in B. anthracis is a principal characteristic differentiating it from other members of the B. serious group. While B. serious and B. thuringiensis depend on the PLCR gene for expression of their virulence factors, B. anthracis relies on the PXO1 and PXO2 plasmids for its virulence. B. anthracis possesses an antiphagocytic capsule essential for full virulence. The organism also produces three plasmid coated exotoxins edema factor, a calmodulin dependent adenylate cyclase, causes elevation of intracellular camp, and is responsible for the severe edema usually seen in B. anthracis infections. Lethal toxin is responsible for tissue necrosis. Protective antigen mediates cell entry of edema factor and lethal toxin. Pseudogene The symptoms in anthrax depend on the type of infection and can take anywhere from one day to more than two months to appear. All types of anthrax have the potential, if untreated, to spread throughout the body and cause severe illness and even death. Four forms of human anthrax disease are recognized based on their portal of entry. A number of anthrax vaccines have been developed for preventive use in livestock and humans. Anthrax vaccine adsorbed may protect against cutaneous and inhalation anthrax. However, this vaccine is only used for at-risk adults before exposure to anthrax and has not been approved for use after exposure. Infections with B. anthracis can be treated with beta-lactam antibiotics such as penicillin, and others which are active against gram-positive bacteria. Penicillin-resistant B. anthracis can be treated with fluoroquinolones such as ciprofloxacin or tetracycline antibiotics such as doxycycline. Components of T, such as polyphenols, have the ability to inhibit the activity both of B. anthracis and its toxin considerably, spores, however, are not affected. The addition of milk to the tea completely inhibits its antibacterial activity against anthrax. Activity against the B. anthracis in the laboratory does not prove that drinking tea affects the course of an infection since it is unknown how these polyphenols are absorbed and distributed within the body. Advances in genotyping methods have led to improved genetic analysis for variation and relatedness. These methods include multiple locus variable number tandem repeat analysis and typing systems using canonical single nucleotide polymorphisms. The Ames ancestor chromosome was sequenced in 2003 and contributes to the identification of genes involved in the virulence of B. anthracis. Recently, B. anthracis isolate H9401 was isolated from a Korean patient suffering from gastrointestinal anthrax. The goal of the Republic of Korea is to use this strain as a challenge strain to develop a recombinant vaccine against anthrax. Clinical Aspects The H9401 strain isolated in the Republic of Korea was sequenced using 454 GSFLX technology and analyzed using several bioinformatics tools to align, annotate, and compare H9401 to other B. anthracis strains. The sequencing coverage level suggests a molecular ratio of PXO1-PXO2 chromosome as 3,2,1 which is identical to the Ames Florida and Ames Ancestor strains. H9401 has 99.679% sequence homology with Ames Ancestor with an amino acid sequence homology of 99.870%. H9401 has a circular chromosome, the PXO1 plasmid, and the PXO2 plasmid. As compared to the Ames ancestor chromosome above, the H9401 chromosome is about 8.5 kb smaller. Due to the high pathogenicity and sequence similarity to the Ames ancestor, 
H9401 will be used as a reference for testing the efficacy of candidate anthrax vaccines by the Republic of Korea. Pathogenesis Since the genome of B. anthracis was sequenced, alternative ways to battle this disease are being endeavored. Bacteria have developed several strategies to evade recognition by the immune system. The predominant mechanism for avoiding detection, employed by all bacteria is molecular camouflage. Slight modifications in the outer layer that render the bacteria practically invisible to lysozymes. Three of these modifications have been identified and characterized. These include 1-N-glycosylation of N-acetylmuramic acid, 2-O-acetylation of N-acetylmuramic acid and 3-N-deacetylation of N-acetylglucosamine. Research during the last few years has focused on inhibiting such modifications. As a result the enzymatic mechanism of polysaccharide deacetylases is being investigated, that catalyze the removal of an acetyl group from N-acetylglucosamine and N-acetylmuramic acid, components of the peptidoglycan layer. Stern strain, used by Max Stern in his 1930s vaccines. Volum strain, formerly weaponized by the US, UK, and Iraq, isolated from a cow in Oxfordshire, UK, in 1935, Volum M36, virulent British research strain, passed through Macox 36 times, Volum 1B, weaponized by the US and UK in the 1940s 60s, Volum 14578, used in UK bioweapons trials which severely contaminated Gruinard Island in 1942, V770NP1R, the avirulent, non-encapsulated strain used in the Biothrax vaccine. As with most other pathogenic bacteria, B. anthracis must acquire iron to grow and proliferate in its host environment. The most readily available iron sources for pathogenic bacteria are the heme groups used by the host in the transport of oxygen. To scavenge heme from host hemoglobin and myoglobin, B. anthracis uses two secretory sidrophore proteins, ISDX1 and ISDX2. These proteins can separate heme from hemoglobin allowing surface proteins of B. anthracis to transport it into the cell. The presence of B. anthracis can be determined through samples taken on non-porous surfaces. Cutaneous, the most common form, causes a localized, inflammatory, black, necrotic lesion, inhalation, a rare but highly fatal form is characterized by flu-like symptoms, chest discomfort, diaphoresis, and body aches, gastrointestinal, a rare but also fatal type, results from ingestion of spores. Symptoms include, fever and chills, swelling of neck, painful swallowing, hoarseness, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, flushing and red eyes, and swelling of abdomen, Injection, symptoms are similar to those of cutaneous anthrax, but injection anthrax can spread throughout the body faster and can be harder to recognize and treat compared to cutaneous anthrax. How to sample with cellulose sponge on non-porous surfaces? Manifestations in human disease Prevention and treatment Laboratory research Recent research How to sample with macro foam swab on non-porous surfaces Host interactions Sampling